Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will see how to use Control Arm Automation API and Docker to test external scripts and programs. We'll be following the tutorial outline on the Control Arm Automation API homepage found on the left under Tutorials. Before we begin, make sure Docker is installed and running. In today's example, we'll be using CentOS 7. A simple test is to run the Docker Hello World image to make sure it's working. You'll need a local copy of the script and programs to be tested. Make sure you have a copy of the Control Arm Automation API Quick Start tutorial samples. It makes it easier to deploy a new Control Arm agent for testing. You will also need a Control Arm Enterprise Manager login that is Control Arm Automation API enabled. Let's go to our Docker account and run the Docker Hello World. From the output, we can see that Docker is up and running. Today we'll test a simple script and C program. You can see the two files here. As you can see, it just prints the string hello. The test script simply changes to the source directory and executes our binary. So it assumes everything will be stored in slash source. The basic steps we'll be performing can be found in the tutorial on the Control Automation API documentation page, but slightly modified for our needs. To the left, you can see the tutorial building a Docker container for batch applications. This is basically what we'll be doing. An easy way to get a copy of the tutorial is to use git to clone the repository. The first tutorial has prerequisites, the link to the repository we need. Let's click on it. The link is at the top of the page, so we'll go ahead and copy that. Let's run it in our Docker account. It will take a few minutes to run, so I'll go ahead and zoom ahead. Oh, we see that the tutorial files have been replicated here. To test, we'll need at least one container. So if you don't have one, we'll need to perform step one from the tutorial mentioned. Let's copy the path from the tutorial. And let's run this change directory. can see there are four files here. The important file is the Docker file with the capital D. It's used to build the container. Let's build our container since we don't have one yet. We have to modify the example of the tutorial with our actual settings. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste into Notepad. I'll go ahead and make the changes for my environment. Let's go ahead and copy our change and run it. This is going to take a while to run, so I'll go ahead and zoom ahead. This container will have a control agent 9.0 and also the Control API CTM CLI installed. If you're interested, you can review the commands used to build up the environment. You can also make changes to the file to customize your container. For example, you could add commands to install other programs or add custom settings. When it's complete, we can run our test program and script. Let's go back to our home directory where the program was stored. Let's run the program in the Docker image. Just like it ran correctly. Now let's add the agent to control server. We'll go and copy and edit this from the tutorial. I'm going 
gonna change this to my control server host name here. For the host group, I'm gonna use Docker test. And for the port, 8006. We'll go ahead and copy our changes and execute it. Looks like it ran successfully. To verify that the agent is there, we can go to the configuration manager. Here we see our newly provisioned agent. Let's go ahead and check the host manager. We can see that our host group Docker test has been added with the new agent. Let's go ahead and define a job to run against this agent. This is a basic job that simply runs an ls command. The host group has been set to docker test. Let's go ahead and order this. Let's take a look at this job in the monitoring domain. Take a look at the output, we can see that the LS ran correctly. To test our script and program, you can modify the Docker file to also download and install the script and binary executable. Once that is done, you can create a control job to run it. Once the testing is complete, the agent can be decommissioned. Now we see that the agent has been deleted. If you go back to the configuration manager, we see that our test agent has not been removed. Let's check the host group. We see that our Docker test host group is also removed. Thank you for watching. This concludes this control solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.